Tens is the face of Valorant and might be the GOAT. But the real mystery is, how is he so good? So today, I break down his best plays and show you how to get better. Okay, so, dude, the Cypher baited so hard. One thing I noticed about Tenz's gameplay, he plays like the tightest angles. Like, look how tight of an angle this is. He's barely playing off of the, cyp the Cypher trip. So he's just, he's baiting his Cypher, or the Cypher's baiting for him. So once he kills the Jet, it's over. Gets the raise, kills Jet. And the other two are, yeah. They're just, they're just so focused on Cypher. I mean, it's just, it's free kills. Watch, throughout this video, you'll notice how tight of an, I think he can, can he crouch that? Yeah, good read. Oh my god, the clean one bullet too. So good, man. Again, look how tight of an angle he's playing. Look how tight this is. Dude, it's so tight, man. Tens is so tight. Wait. Nice. Nice. Again, yeah, just, it's just perfect peeking. Bro, let me guess. You got off on the wrong foot this act. Lost streaks day after day. That's because the people that are winning have Valorant Tracker. They have a tool that gives you live match info and gives you details on the entire lobby. Another cool aspect is their stats overview tab. You can check your entire lifetime stats, your weapon accuracy, your headshot percentage, your map win rates, and a ton more to see where you need to improve. Oh, so I have a 20% win rate on this map. My personal favorite feature is their match history tab. I literally use it daily and send it to my editors because it's so detailed they can see exactly what rounds are worth putting in the videos. Turn your lost streaks around by downloading Valorant Tracker with the link in the description below. Nice. And his positioning is so good too. KJ just molly spikes, so now he knows for sure KJ's B main. Omen's Mia, to my knowledge. Okay, now he knows Omen's here. Yeah, he knows KJ's main. He could he could get half. KJ has to swing because it smokes. Perfectly played. That's a neuroclip too. He was using his skin. Dude, he's just so dude. I just love it, man. I can't get over it. It's like he's playing on like the thinnest of like margins. Okay, here one garage. Good reposition. So right here, when he, when he throws this smoke on the left side, the enemy team is immediately expecting him to push the right side. And so he knows that the enemy team is expecting him to push the right side, and he fake dashes towards it. And then now he can re-swing the left, and he gets a free kill, I, I bet. Yep, told you. And he heard the last one garage, but Breach has ult, so he's got to be careful here. Got half. Perfect. Really good updraft reposition, too. No way. Nice. Yeah, really well played. And honestly, Breach played that a little bit a little poorly. He should have ulted instantly. Alright, we got him on race. Killed Reyna. He just saw race hookah. So now he knows at least three people are here. Raze is hookah. Sage is hookah and Reyna because she just got rest. Free two kills. Amazing shot. He knows at least one is long. Pretty sure it was Jet. I think he heard the updraft. I don't know if she was there. It was Yaru. Nice. It's just like everyone... Oh my god. See, dude, like... I don't want to say he's playing incorrectly because he has the aim to back it up. If you swing this and get like Holy one kill, unless you're him, which I guess tens is him. Once you get this first kill, all three people are just going to be staring at you. I don't like this reswing, but I mean, if you have aim like this, you, you can do whatever you want, I guess, honestly. Yeah, like, I mean, you can literally just do whatever you want. It just doesn't matter. Nice. Yeah. The enemy team is using the Roomba to clear the off angle, and Tens knows that. If anybody was there, they would shoot the, the Roomba, right? But Tens knows that, so he peeks it anyways, gets the free off kill, and then TP's away. Smoking here, man. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. I mean... Oh my god, bro. What a broken ass character. <laughs> Dude, real! <laughs> I've been saying Chamber's broken since release. I'm glad he agrees. Yeah. He's aiming like the perfect like range between the wall and his crosshair. Like you'll notice that in a lot of tense clips as well. They will literally just walk into his crosshair. He's so good at letting people just like walk into him. Look. And if you noticed, he he like found the exact spot on the wall that the oh, oh my god. It's just so good.
Okay, so if you look at this clip, it looks like they're trying to do like a, a C fake. They smoke garage and they smoke B, but they're actually going A. But the Sova darted C long. So it's pretty obvious that uh, they're, they're not hitting C side here. So that, that's what makes the enemy team like pop sure. this ult so quickly and instantly start rotating. The second they get that pick, the enemy knows they're going to hit site. Yep. And he sees the Reyna blind on that minimap, so he knows Reyna's here. So was probably rotating. And so was Phoenix. Good smoke. Again, he does the smoke pick. He smokes one side and then pushes the opposite side. He does that play a lot, honestly. Yep, he knows Reyna's there. Otherwise, she, she would have been backside to trade if she wasn't. Amazing. Bro, his decision making is like so quick, bro. Two picks. Nice. And now he, he knows at this point, like, dude, if you get three I'm picks screaming. on a side, the, the other two. All right, I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scrimming right now. Yeah, he is scrimming. Oh, we got the Yoru play with the footsteps. Dude, I, that looks so weird. I forgot that Yoru's footsteps could still, like, tank the Cypher trips. I forgot he could do that. That's so funny. So he knows races back sight because he naded here as Phoenix. Woke. I mean, he was kind of running. I don't know about that. Oh, dude. <sighs> Just bring it back, right? God, I miss the invincibility frames on Yoro's ultimate so much, dude. It made you so untradeable. Oh my, dude, like that was oh just God. peak invincibility frames. Perfect unult. So he knows Cypher's elbow side. He has the TP set up back site. Uh, spike is long. They have to get Spike. Again, just really well played. Taking his one, playing a super tight angle. Knows that they're going to go for the trade. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. That, that's why I play Yoru right there. That's exactly how you play Yoru. Oh my God. That second flick was just absurd. Okay, KO crossed. Just abusing run and gun. Uh, you're better than that, Tens. Come on. Okay, Sage walled sight. One's probably playing default. There's probably two here at least. Yep, Reyna and Jet. And he knows Sage is here too, because she just walled. Yep. Going to B? Wait, just don't peek, don't peek, don't peek. How did he get here? He's right here. Oh my god, the trigger to splint. Dude, he's good for five! He's good for five! Yeah, okay. We're in iron. We're not clearing corners. No, you can't even blame him for clearing corners, bro. You can't even blame him. That's such a hard read. One HP? Nice. Dude, I forgot how good of an aimer Tenz is. Like, this is why he thrives on Jet and Chamber so much. He's not really like a uh, big brain. Like, I mean, he does have really good positioning. I mean, he's a pro player, of course. But I feel like it's like a lot of times it's his aim. Like, his aim is really what carries him a lot. Like, look at this, like, dude, he plays, like, the weirdest angles. Like, what is that, bro? Like, Jet would never predict this in a million years. And here, the Breach Flash, too, so we know, he, know, he knows Breach is here. Yep, um, catches Breach running blah, away. Blah, blah. Perfect timing. More than likely, there's probably only two people here. So he killed he killed Breach and Jet and Cat and Tree, and he knows the other three people are going to be rotating from B. He's letting his team take sight, assuming that there's not one on sight, and he's just going to catch off the rotations here. Okay, he got Omen. The other two are rotating. Yep. Oh my god, old jet dash. Giga Chad, just pushing it anyways. I got it. Dead. Oh my, see, like, that's, look what I'm, dude, like, come on. You guys can't come back, right? Yeah. Really well played, really great angle. Dude, he just clears everything like so tight, man. Nice. 47 HP. Cypher's one shot. It's like a fake flash in a way. You can fake your position. So if he flashes left side over here, the, the Cypher is going to think he's going to be peeking from here. I would put every dollar I have to my name that Cypher was holding the left side off of that flash. And now Cypher's just not going to expect him to be up this close. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just perfect. Really good catch on Sova there. Oh, yeah. We're an iron.
Here. We're an iron. I I don't know how. I mean, it, it did happen pretty fast, but dude, Cipher has no excuse not to be holding mid after he kills Silver there. The Especially with Viper wall up. Jets, maybe still. Yellow, yellow. Dude, like, look how tight these angles are, bro. You don't even see them. Like, look how tight these angles are. Yellow, yellow. Perfect. Yep. Oh my god, 29 HP. Oh. Here, last one tower. Yep, smoke. He can reposition with the smoke. Dude, it's just unreal, dude. How how many inches away is this monitor from his face? One default. Oh! Wait, dude, I'm. He's so chill about it too. Dude, if I got an ace like that, I'd be doing fucking backflips. I don't say anything. I don't say anything. Okay, the flank player went back garage. Really good angle here. Yep. Oh my, dude, it's just like. Oh my god. I mean, that's just lucky, bro. Let's be real. Hello. That's just lucky. Even he was shocked by that. You take two hit down. Put it down. My smoke's going down, yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, Cammy is crying right now. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next and follow on Twitch to watch me live. Link in the description.